Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to show you how you can match colors from any photo using Photoshop. The two use cases for this is if you're trying to replicate a certain color grade from a photo or if you're trying to composite two images and you want the colors to sort of match. So I'm going to show you these two use cases in this video. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and let's get straight into it. This video is sponsored by Envato Elements, which is my favorite place to get templates and digital assets for my projects. If you use any of the Adobe applications like Photoshop often, Envato Elements can give you unlimited downloads for a small monthly fee. You can find things such as textures, stock photo, layer styles, Photoshop actions, and much more on Envato Elements. If you wanna sign up, check the link in the description. So right here, we're in Photoshop and I have three different photos. So I'm gonna show you the first use case first, and that's matching color grade styles. So in this case, we have this image and let's say we wanna copy this color grade style. The first thing you wanna do is go to filter and neural filters. You won't see this unless you have a newer version of Photoshop. They released neural filters in I believe Photoshop 2021. So make sure you update your Photoshop. And first you wanna download the harmonization feature right here. It's in beta, so this feature will actually get better. The description says harmonize the color and luminosity of one layer to another layer to make a flawless composite. So in the example here, they take a portrait image, remove the background, and place it in another photo, which is the next use case I'm gonna show you after I show you this. So we're gonna check it. And here it's gonna ask you to select a layer. So if we select the Joker, layer right here will actually show up in the preview of how this matching colors feature works so right here you can see what they did they basically dulled out the whites and i don't want it too dull like this so i'm gonna lower the strength and these little settings here are just to make small adjustments like for example i can make it a little bit brighter and then for output you can either output this new version with the new color grade as a new layer or a smart filter i'd personally just use smart filter so that you have less layers and once you press ok you can see there's a smart filter right here and you can check it and uncheck it pretty easily so this isn't a perfect color grade or anything like that but it will definitely speed up the process especially if you're stuck trying to match certain colors so next i'm going to show you the next use case and that's compositing images let's say we want to place this guy in the middle of the street right here I'm gonna first make it a little bit bigger and then I'm gonna remove the background. I have a video on three different ways you can remove backgrounds in Photoshop, so you can check the link in the description for that. But here we're just gonna select the subject and then we're gonna mask it. So right here, you can see the photo looks actually pretty good in here, but you can see there's certain things that don't work out like the lighting, like his face is a little bit too bright compared to the background. The background is also a little bit cooler of a tone. So we're gonna go over to filter so we're gonna go over to filter and neural filters and we're gonna do the same thing. And then we're gonna select the background right here. And then here you can see there's a difference. Even his lips have a little bit of a different color um, that matches closer to this bus right here. So I'm gonna input this as a new layer right here. So you can see there's a big difference. Like I mentioned before, this right side of his face was a little bit too bright. So it looks like they lowered the highlights a lot and the blue looks a lot better as well. The reason I made it a new layer is because now you can adjust the strength by adjusting the opacity. So you can find like a good middle ground if it's a little bit too strong. But here you can see this is a great example of how you can composite two images. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you out. If you are a student or teacher, Adobe is currently having a promotion where you can get over 60% off the entire Adobe Creative Cloud suite. So make sure to check the link in the description for that. My name's Steven and I'll see you in the next one.